tomatoes. I love them. I love them so much that I hate bad tomatoes with a passion. All those perfectly round, tasteless, underripe grocery store tomatoes. They are an insult to the fruit. So, as a rule, I don't buy fresh tomatoes. I wait until it's tomato season, and then I grow them. Lots of them. This year, 13 plants, 10 varieties, all grown from seed, all heirloom varieties. Because once you've tasted a ripe heirloom tomato, juice oozing from the luscious flesh, you can never go back. Here's a breakdown of my favorites for 2022. Aunt Ruby's German Green. I am an evangelist for green tomatoes, but these are not what you think because these tomatoes stay green even when they're ripe. They are intensely sweet and fruity, way sweeter than any red tomato I've tasted. They grow massive too, some way over a pound each. When they're ripe, they're soft to the touch and tend to lighten at the bottom, and you can see a little blush sometimes in the flesh. Green Giant is another delicious green ripening fruit. The tomato is big, the flesh is sweet, dense, and the plant is strong, vigorous. It sets tons of fruit. It's become a staple in my garden and a huge hit in my family. Brandywine. Big and meaty, this rock star beefsteak is probably the most common heirloom tomato grown in American gardens. Intensely sweet and not too acidy, it's got a gorgeous pink color and a rich, balanced flavor. Paul Robeson named after the famous black opera singer. I tried growing this last year, but none of my seeds germinated. This year I had success, and I have to say it is the most beautiful color, sort of a rusty brick red. They tend to pucker at the bottom, but it's a lovely medium to large beefsteak tomato with a rich, wonderfully balanced taste. Thorburn's Terracotta. I love, love, love this tomato. The flavor is truly unique. It's sweet, but also savory. It's got an addictive complexity. The flesh is spectacular. Shades of copper, orange, and brown. Named after its original 19th century breeder, James Thorburn, the terracotta tends to be medium to small in size, but it always ripens earliest for me in my garden. I don't think I will ever give up growing it. Now the Cherokee Purple. This is a Cherokee Nation heirloom, and from the name you might expect the fruit to be darker, but it's really a dusky pink. It's sweet, it sets loads of medium to small fruit. Personally, I don't rank its flavor on the same dizzyingly high levels as the other varieties I've mentioned here, but it's a great tomato for anyone who is put off by the funky, knobbly shapes of most heirlooms. It tends to have a pretty smooth, uniform shape. I'm also growing pineapple, which is a yellow fruit with red striping. It's beautiful looking, sets big, sweet fruit. This is the first time I'm growing it in this garden. I grew it before in Philadelphia, and it's been one of the later ones to ripen, which is nice because we still have something to look forward to late in the season. Orange Jazz this is always the latest to ripen in my garden, but it is so worth it. It sets gorgeous, big, orange fruit that's super sweet and fruity. It's one I just can't give up growing. Now this year I grew two gorgeous heirloom grape tomatoes I wanted to show you. They are considered elongated cherry varieties, but they are so massive they're nearly plum size. Brad's Atomic Grape gets this beautiful purple shoulder, and while it's a green ripening tomato, I know it's at peak sweetness when I see a little hint of orange in the flesh. By the way, the more sun they get, the more purple they seem to turn for me. Now this is my first year growing Lucky Tiger, which is a green striped tomato. The clue for peak ripeness is also that subtle hint of orange that comes into the skin. My son has declared this one his favorite this year. I fill up his lunchbox with a bunch of these each day, and that box comes back empty. Now, if you want to know why heirloom tomatoes are scientifically proven to be sweeter, check out my deep dive How Does It Grow episode. And if you want to grow these tomatoes yourself, I've also got links to two how-to videos with detailed tips on how to grow heirlooms right. <laughs> 